When starting to do video, what videos should you start using first? This is a question from Jean Calvetto. So, Jean and anyone else, if you've never used video before and you want to start using video, what types of videos should you record? Well, just about anything, to be quite frank. Here's the deal. No matter what business or profession you're in, your goal is to let your community to get to know you, right? So you obviously wanna start talking about some video content related to your profession, but you also wanna make sure that you're talking about your community. This is not just for people who are in real estate. You wanna be very community-centric as far as what's happening in your, in your community. You wanna support other businesses, support other um, establishments, support other professionals. So you can do videos of other businesses, you can do videos of other professionals that both relate to your profession or not. Are you wanting a kickstart on your business and you want to learn how to be the go-to professional in your industry? Well, guess what? I've got a free challenge for you. It's five days of coaching. It's brand new. Just go to kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. That's kristamayshore.com slash client conversion and you'll get a free training with me for five straight days that's going to help kickstart you as the go-to professional in your industry. So sign up and I'll see you there. You can do videos just talking about um, fun things to do in the area or just sort of being like the mayor of your town. Those are, those are one type of video that you can do. And you also then want to sprinkle in videos about your profession, talking about um, different phases of the transactions with you, types of questions that people ask a lot of the time, different problems that you see. The idea is for you to learn to become the solution to people's problems, to start educating people about the solutions to problems that they know that they have, and then also solutions to problems they don't even realize they have. What I mean by that is, is that a lot of times there's things that you can do as a professional to help people that they don't even realize even exist. So we wanna make sure that we understand how can we help people? How can we be the best resource for them? How can we answer their questions, make their lives easier in regards to the business that we're in, but also just in regards to, in regards to every single day life? How do we add value? How do we serve people? How do we give them tips and tricks and hacks? Maybe you're really, really great at being an organizer. You can give organizing tips. Maybe you're an awesome barbecue or you can t give barbecue tips. Maybe you're, you've learned a hack on how to, you know, be the best um, stay at home parent, homeschooling parent in the world that's keeping you sane and your kids, your kids sane. Talk about it. The idea is for you to let your community to get to know you, not only as the, the trusted advisor, but also as a person, right? Remember the parasocial relationship. That's when, um, based upon our, our brains, based upon us watching TV as, as um, young people, our brains have been programmed to literally see somebody on the other side of the screen, a video on the other side of our phone or on an iPad or of a, on a computer, to see a video of somebody and we start to develop a relationship with them. We start to develop a one-sided relationship with them. That's called a parasocial relationship. The idea is for you to start developing being a relationship with your community, for them to be to be seeing you as just a regular person and as someone they would they would like as a person, but also for them to be able to see you as a business professional that would be able to serve them and help their needs. So I hope this makes sense. Video, 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 doesn't matter what kind, just make sure you're not doing all business, just make sure you're not doing all personal. You wanna do a little bit of mix and match of both and you want people just to get to know you, right? You want them to be able to know you and to develop a relationship with you. So that way, when they meet you for that appointment, you already have one foot in the door. They already know that they like you because they've been seeing you. They've been developing a relationship with you. You've been able to break down their barriers, right? You've developed trust and authority and respect. Um, they've gotten to know you basically. So then when you actually, when it's time to do business together and time to work together or to choose you as their go-to service provider, as their go-to professional, you are the one they'll choose. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.